scholars from this video we are going to start the specialized discussion of our schools earlier you have been briefed about the 10 schools which cover the overall thought in strategic management the first school which falls under the prescriptive schools of thought is design school and design school as earlier mentioned is the most dominant school in the thought of strategic management i hope the word design is not new for you and you are already familiar with the design and designing and i also hope that you are very much used to of using designs and designing things in your life think for a while that what comes in your mind when you hear the word design to me the word when i hear the word design it comes in my mind that there is a sketch there is a, a model there is a conception in something so design is actually about the conception of something so as i mentioned that design is the first school which actually emerged in 1950s and 1960s and this is the school which represents the deliberate and intended strategy so this school is about the strategy formation as a process of conception let's have an overview of the design school the design school proposes a model of strategy making that seeks to attain match or fit between internal capabilities and external possibilities you must have noticed in this overview that there are two things first internal capabilities and then external possibilities and the role of designing is actually to create a fit between two internal capabilities and external possibilities actually in the design school it happens that first you understand what are your capabilities as an organization and you also understand what are the possibilities available in the environment externally then you design to create a fit between the internal capabilities and external possibilities actually the motto of this design school is to create a fit the fit between the organization and its ever changing dynamic environment now let's move to the basic conceptualization of the design school now there is a diagram appearing before you this has been taken from the strategy safari of henry mentsburg understanding this diagram actually will give you the complete overview of the design school you can see before you that there are two streams coming one is the external appraisal stream another is the internal appraisal scheme first we see about the external appraisal stream that external appraisal what do you do actually from your environment you scan your environment you study your environment and in your environment you all have studied at undergraduate level that our environment is of two types or is at two levels the closer environment which is known as the task environment which consists of the suppliers buyers our competitors and the broad environment which is the larger environment which consists of different forces such as economic technological political legal social and cultural we scan in the design school it is prescribed that first scan your environment and from your environment try to locate two things threats and opportunities threats which are the possible problems for your organization in the environment and opportunities which are possible positive things or positive avenues in the environment which you can use to have the benefit of your organization so you just first create an analysis of your external environment and you locate threats and opportunities on the other side from the internal appraisal stream in the design school you just try to locate two things from the internal analysis of your organization I mean analyzing your different departments your resources your capabilities and you just try to locate two things strengths and weaknesses of the organizations in simple words everything is the strength which is better than your competitors you have and which can help you 
in dealing with your environment and everything is weakness which is either missing or which either you don't have compared to your environment or compared to your competitors or what can be a problem uh, in dealing with your environment so from the external and external streams you on one side locate threats and opportunities and on the other side you locate the strengths and weaknesses then you move further from the external stream you locate the key success factors the factors which are important to be successful in the environment actually what is perceived and what is in the environment you should do to be successful and from the internal stream you just to locate your competence dif- d- 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 those competence which are different which are distinguished from your competitors and you have now your key success factors and your distinguished competence based on that in the design school now you can create your strategy once and while creating the strategy two things really play a role one are the social responsibility aspects another are the managerial values social responsibility affects these aspects drive into the strategy making process through the external environment and the managerial values they drive in through the internal part of the organization so managers values what actually are their beliefs and what are the beliefs in the society what is the social responsibility they are taken care of while developing the strategy so once the strategy is there then evaluation of strategic choices are made so strategic choices are evaluated these are evaluated based on that that these are consistent with the overall goals of the organization I mean these are resulting into some advantage for the organization and these are resulting into the efficient resources utilization of the organizational resources so following once you have evaluated the strategy then there is a stage where you implement the strategy from the design school this is quite clear that the in the first phase strategy is formulated and in the second phase this is sent for implementation so this is the concept so from this diagram of the design school this is now well clear well elaborated that in the design school or as prescribed by the design school the strategy is developed in two phases in the phase 1 it is conceived here it is conceived here from here it is then transferred on the paper and from paper then it is sent for the implementation so in the design school the strategy's conception and its implementation are the two parts hope this overview is clear to you thank you